What up friends, this is the second part of our Avatar The Last Airbender series and today we'll be taking on the Fire Nation and because of that I don't really have a choice in the matter, I'm gonna be doing their Fire Flakes. I was actually at the store shopping for this series thinking I was gonna do noodles or something and then I saw these and I know how delicious they are when they're fried and these ones happen to be bright red with little shrimps in them. And I was like, okay, well, these would make the perfect fire flakes, so I guess I'm gonna do fire flakes. If you've ever made prawn crisps, it's the exact same thing, they just happen to be in larger discs. And to make them my fire flakes, all you need to do is make a spicy seasoning salt. The spices that I used was Szechuan peppercorn, coriander, cumin, and Szechuan chili flakes. You can also use Korean chili flakes if you don't have the Chinese kind. What you need to do is you need to grind the Szechuan peppercorn, coriander, and cumin together, and then separately toast the chili flakes first. And once the chili flakes start to release their aroma, add in your ground up spices and toast those all in together. Once it starts to get really fragrant and smoke a little, remove from the heat and set it aside. Let those spices cool for a hot minute before blending them in a spice grinder or a coffee grinder. You have to let them cool because otherwise if you grind them when they're still warm, they will clump up. I did add a touch of MSG to the spices in between grindings because why not make it ridiculously delicious? And then after that, add in your salt, stir it up, and that's your seasoning salt. When it comes to frying, it's just like potato chips. Make sure your oil is at 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And the best part about these crackers is that they will tell you when they're done. They'll puff up to many times their size, their color will lighten a bit, and you'll know the parts that are still not finished cooking yet because you can clearly see which colors are more deep and which colors have lightened up and have puffed up. In these next two parts, the video isn't sped up at all. You can see it puffing up in the wok as I'm getting my tongs. It doesn't take that long at all. And then in a bit, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see in real time how long it takes and what it looks like. Because these chips expand and cook so quickly, there might be some parts that go out of the oil before it has a chance to cook. Just use your tongs to keep it submerged in the oil so that everything cooks throughout. Of course, you can break them into smaller pieces so that they look like the fire flakes from the show. And to me, whether you broke them into smaller pieces before or after frying doesn't really make a difference on how it tastes. But I will say it is a lot more easier to manage if you cook them in large pieces first and then break them up afterwards. Now earlier you heard me say that these have prawns in them, so if you have a shellfish allergy, don't cook these. But what you can do is use Vietnamese spring roll wrappers instead. They will fry the exact same way. I think technically in English those things are also called fresh rolls. Just make sure you use the rice paper ones. They won't have the same red coloring, but add a bunch of sweet paprika to your seasoning salt and that will make the overall dish a little more red. And as you can see right here, I just had to see what it looked like when I fried just one whole ass chip. That got big enough to use as a plate. I wouldn't consider the amount of chilies that I used to have been too much. I definitely could have made it spicier, and next time I will. But this was me making it for the first time, so we're all learning here. I'd say if you had older children, this would still be within their tolerance level. And if they're not allergic to shellfish, but they don't like fish yet, this would be a great way to introduce that flavor to them. If you told them that these were the fire flakes from Avatar, even if the flavors weren't to their liking like regular potato chips were, they would still eat this because it can be so fun. These chips could totally introduce spiciness and fishy flavors to them in a way that they will enjoy. What, do you want more fire flakes? Is that what you want?